Exhale, cross one over the other. Give yourself a big hug. Inhale in deeply. Exhale, completely draw the shoulders down. Beautiful. From here, keep the hips heavy, sit bones rooted to the ground. You're going to tick tock from one side to the other, getting a little gentle stretch in the side body and the low back. So nice and easy back and forth. So try to keep the hips really heavy here. Excellent. Then slowly release the arms, opposite arm on top, same thing. Tick tock back and forth, maybe a little deeper this time. Think of like the side body as like a stick of taffy. And each time you gently come to one side, you're giving it a little, little bit um, more bend, right? A little bit of stretch. All the while connecting to center. Elongating your inhales, expanding your exhale. Great, then we'll come back to center, release the arms, bring the palms to the knees. Take a deep breath in as you shrug your shoulders up to your ears, squeeze, 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 and lift, and then exhale, drop it down. Good, twice more like that. Inhale, squeeze and lift. Exhale, shoulder blades down the back body as you drop. And one more, take it away. Awesome, left hand to right kneecap, sit up nice and tall. Inhale, lift your heart, lift the crown of the head. Exhale, twist. So stimulating the energetic body here, the digestive organs too, but really working to create a healthy flow of energy that runs up and down the spine. Get the creative juices flowing. You can nod the head a little. Yes here, maybe no. Keep breathing deep. Good, then take it through center and to the other side. Resist the urge to rock back here. Work to gently stimulate the muscles of your core to sit up nice and tall. Some of these things take practice, so just do your best. Using an inhale to lengthen up through the heart, up through the crown. Using an exhale to maybe look past your left shoulder. And any soft, easy movement in the head, head or neck that feels good. So keep here. Awesome. Then we'll bring it back to center. We're going to come through to all fours. If you need a little padding for the knees, you can use your yoga mat if you have one to double up like so and place the knees here. Easy, simple trick. Also use your blanket or towel, of course. We're going to come to a little tabletop position. Bring your wrists right underneath the shoulder, your knees right underneath your hip points. And then once you have this nice neutral spine, I'm going to invite you to walk your hands out just a little bit wider than the shoulder. All right, cat cow, nice and slow here to start. Press into the tops of the feet. Press into your index finger and thumb and then press into all of your knuckles. Good, here we go. Inhale, drop the belly, open the chest. Again, slow to start here, open the heart, the chest. Hang out here for a couple breaths. Close your eyes. Notice, notice, notice. Notice if you feel it trembling, you inhale right away. Whatever that means to you. Claw through the fingertips, press into the toes, hug the low ribs in. We're going to arch the spine, arc the spine, excuse me. Start here. Creating a lot of space in the upper back body. Imagine lengthening. So rather than tucking, just think about lengthening the tail down towards the earth. Take a couple more breaths here to notice. Three. 
And now let's move with the breath. Inhale, drop the belly, open the chest. Really, really press into the feet today. And then exhale, claw through the fingertips, round the spine, really, really, really claw into those first muscles. Just claw into all your little toe section. Inhale, drop the belly. Open the chest, look forward. Exhale, grounding through all of your fingers and knuckles, round through the spine, chin to chest, draw the navel up, up, up. Moving with your breath. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat pose. Now take one more round just with the sound of your breath. So find an audible breath and move with that. Excellent. Come back to nice neutral spine. Big toes to touch, knees nice and wide. Send the hips back, child's pose, extended child's pose. But today you're going to send the hips back, walk the fingertips forward. Stay here or there's an option to bring the palms up behind the nape of the neck here. If that feels good, walk the elbows forward. Start to get a deep Now, my darling friend, close your eyes. Keep up with your nice audible breath. Let it be your sound check. Notice the quality of air in the room, any sounds that might be around you. And then keep returning to the sound of your breath and the sensation in your body, even the, the sticky sensations, the fussy ones. Pay attention. Excellent. Then slowly we'll release. We're going to come all the way through, back to all fours. Walk the knees back underneath the hips, and then walk them back, and you're going to slowly bend your elbows and come onto your belly. From here, center yourself on the mat, press into the tops of the feet. Slowly draw your hands in line with your rib cage, squeeze your elbows into your side body, and inhale, lift up slowly, Vijangasana. Keep it nice and low here to start as you hug the elbows in like a little grasshopper leg. Exhale to release, press back up to all fours. You got this. Find that tabletop position, and take the hands a little wider, pinkies towards the edge of your mat, index fingers pointing forward. Then here we go, curl the toes under, take a deep breath in. Exhale, upper arm bones rotate out and we peel the tailbone up toward the sky, downward facing dog. So getting a little healthy, fresh blood flow to the brain, getting the heart above the head. You can pedal the feet out here, bend the knees. And if this is not great shape for you, you can come and take some child's pose. 